assalamu alaikum friends today we are going to discuss the property of gamma function which says that prove that gamma half is equal to under root pi in today lecture we will prove this property of gamma function friends we know that the equation for gamma function is equal to gamma n is equal to integration from 0 to infinity x to the power n minus 1 e to the power minus x into dx this is the equation of gamma function now for n is equal to half this equation will become equal to gamma half is equal to integration from 0 to infinity x to the power half minus 1 e to the power minus x into dx now this equation can be written as that gamma half is equal to integration from 0 to infinity this term will become equal to x to the power minus half so we can write it as that x to the power minus half e to the power minus x into dx this is equation number 1 now let's suppose x is equal to y square then dx will be equal to 2y into dy now i am putting these values in equation number 1 so after putting these values in equation number 1 gamma half will be equal to integration from 0 to infinity y to the power minus 1 e to the power minus y square into y dy we will get this one now here this y to the power minus 1 and this y to the power plus 1 will cancel each other and we will get gamma half is equal to integration from 0 to infinity e to the power minus y square into dy this is equation number 2 now i have to write this equation number 2 in terms of x i have to replace this y by x so this will become equal to gamma half is equal to integration from 0 to infinity e to the power minus x square into dx this is equation number 3 now i have to multiply these two equation means equation number 2 and equation number 3 after multiplication we will get gamma half whole square is equal to 2 integration from 0 to infinity e to the power minus y square dy into 2 integration from 0 to infinity e to the power minus x square into dx friends we did some mistakes here we have two this two so this equation 2 will become equal to 2 integration from 0 to infinity e to the power minus y square into dy and here also we have two so we will get this equation after multiplication so this equation can be written as that for integration from 0 to infinity and again from 0 to infinity e to the power minus y square and e to the power minus x square dy into dx or this equation can be written as that for integration from 0 to infinity and integration from 0 to infinity e to the power minus x square plus y square into dx and uh, dy this equation can be written like this here we have also y square now in this equation we are going to change the coordinates into polar coordinates and we know that for polar coordinates x is equal to r cos theta and y is equal to r sin theta this is the value of x and y in polar coordinates so x square plus y square this will become equal to 
आर स्क्वायर काज स्क्वायर टीटा प्लस आर स्क्वायर साइन स्क्वायर टीटा नाउ आई एम टेकिंग कॉमन वी विल गेट आर स्क्वायर इनटू काज स्क्वायर प्लस साइन स्क्वायर टीटा हेयर वी हैव आल्सो टीटा सो काज स्क्वायर टीटा प्लस साइन स्क्वायर टीटा इज इक्वल टू 1 सो x स्क्वायर प्लस y स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू r स्क्वायर सो हेयर x स्क्वायर प्लस y स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू r स्क्वायर Also, we have to change the limits. Friends, we know that if we take this x and y coordinates, for example, this is x axis and this is y axis, and x is from zero to infinity. Similarly, y is also from zero to infinity. Here, we have to find the value of r and a theta. If we look at this. the value of x is from here to here so this theta is equal to pi by 2 and the value of r is from 0 to infinity here x is also up to infinity and y is also up to infinity so the value of r is from 0 to infinity and the value of theta is from 0 to pi by 2 and the value of r is from 0 to infinity Again, we have to find out this dx and dy. So dx and dy is equal to r d theta into d r. This is the value of dx and dy, which can be found with the help of Jacobian. So putting this value and these limits and this value in this equation, we will get gamma half. Square is equal to four into from zero to pi by two and from zero to infinity e to the power minus r square r d r into d theta. We will get this one. Now I am going to make some supposition in order to find out the value of r and d r. Let's suppose. R square is equal to p. Then the value of d p will be equal to 2r into d r is equal to d p. And r d r will be equal to d p divided by 2. Now I have to put this value in this equation, and we will get gamma half is equal to 4 into integration from 0 to pi by 2. And integration from zero to infinity e to the power minus p into d p divided by two and d q. Here this two and this will cancel, so we will get two integration from zero to pi by two and integration from zero to infinity e to the power minus p d p and d q. Now I have to integrate this one, and we will get gamma half square is equal to two integration from zero to pi by two into a raised to power minus p divided by minus one, and the limits are from zero to infinity into d theta. Now I have to put the limits. We will get. Two into integration from zero to pi by two e to the power minus infinity minus e to the power minus zero divided by minus one into d theta. Now zero to the power minus infinity is equal to zero, and e to the power zero is equal to one. So this term is equal to One. So we will get two integration from zero to pi by two minus one divided by minus one into d theta. This and this will cancel, and we will get gamma half square is equal to two integration from zero to pi by two into d theta. Now I have to integrate, so we will get two into theta, and the limits is from zero to pi by two. We will get this one, and this is equal to two into pi by two 
minus 0. So, these two and these two will cancel and we will get finally gamma half square is equal to pi. After taking the under root, we will get gamma half is equal to under root pi. So, this is the required proof which says that gamma half is equal to under root pi. Thank you.